I'm Ashlyn and my husband Zach and we're traveling A to Z. This week we're going to go explore Tree Bones Resort. We are heading to Tree Bones Resort. It's a glamping resort that has um, areas that you camp and also yurts. So we're going to go stay in a yurt today. So. I don't know how familiar you are with yurts. It's basically a tent. Um, I guess they're used all over the world. They're, you know, most people think like Mongolian sheep herders or whatever, um, but they are kind of an international structure that people have used for thousands of years. And I've never seen the inside of one, so this is gonna be really interesting. And this is a yurt resort that is off of Highway 1 on the Big Sur coast. You can't really see the coastline right now because we're in the fog. Hopefully that will clear up or in the morning. Um, but it's supposed to have a nice restaurant and also a hot tub and a spa and a pool. But we are super excited. We made it to the resort. Now we're going to go get our keys and find our yurt. Sweet dreams, adventures, and memories. It's our yurt we're staying in. We are right by the lodge. It was the only one left. It has a mountain view. So this is our yurt. It's huge. It's probably double or triple the size of all the other ones. It is definitely the biggest one on the property. You could compare the size. Here's, here's the normal size. So normal size, our size. Okay, we're gonna open up our yurt and see what it looks like inside. They actually have a real door. Oh. Has a fan? It has a sprinkler system. And then it has little Right, so you can close off the the bedroom the bedroom area from the other bedroom area. This is cool. And they have electricity too. Look at that. It's the family yurt. That's pretty neat. Little city area. Ah, oh, look, wine glasses. and a wine opener. I think we're gonna have to go buy a bottle of wine that's at the reception so we can enjoy it in our huge yurt room. This is so cool. Yeah, this is neat. Like, look at this. There, it's, it's, all, it's all out of tent material. This is glamping. <laughs> and a real sink. The yurt is huge. It's probably 30 feet in diameter. It's so big. This is so cool. This is pretty neat. It's really cold though, so I hope that heater heats this place up. This is a big space to heat up. Yeah, it is. And there's no insulation. It's just tarp. It's a tent. Kind of wish we had a smaller tent. It was the only thing that was available. So this place books up like months and months in advance. And we just called today and said, hey, is there any cancellations? And they had one, so here we are. How's the bed? It's super comfy, huh? We have our own deck with chairs so we can look at the other yurts. 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 I can't say it. Yurts. <laughs> this is called the Yurt Village. This is where most of the yurts are located. 
So all the places do not have bathrooms, so you have this communal bathroom. It's really nice. It has the showers, the sinks, and a couple, to couple toilets. The grounds here are really pretty, then. They have nice little trails around. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at those. Oh, those are like... They're different. Kind of looks like a bug. Like you're staying in a bug. These two tents are called autonomous tents and they're the only tents that have private bathrooms. He's seen his first yurt. What do you think, babe? It's pretty neat. Everything you were hoping? Yeah, I think so. Oh, there's the nest. So you, you could rent a tree with that looks like a nest and then people you could stay so right there you see in the top you could sleep right in the top of it it's hard to tell but right up there there's some there's some sleeping bags and stuff and it's wide open you would freeze you would freeze your Pretty much any time of year here on the Central Coast. It's kind of cool though. So they have a lot of little campsites. You can rent a campsite for about a hundred dollars or so a night. Most of these are still minimum two-day stay. Um, most yurts start at $320 and go up from there. But the views are really pretty. Look behind me. You have the gorgeous view of the Pacific Ocean and the Big Sur Coast. Cool, honey processing hut. Yeah. Oh, that's probably for the food, for the restaurant. Yeah, maybe. That's cool. So they have an organic garden. Apparently they use all organic supplies that they raise here in the restaurant. And so when you go there, they, they change the menu based on what's growing the produce, the fresh produce of the month. Oh, okay. So we started here, we parked here. I think we walked, we're walking this way. There's the Earth 16. There's another tree hut up here that we're gonna go Floor. It's actually not as big as I thought it would be. Like, I thought it was gonna be huge. It's really cool though. Okay, we're gonna keep walking. Yeah. So these are, they call them the tree houses. So it's not quite a yurt, but that's pretty cool. And then another twig hut or nest is coming up. found the twig hut. So this is the twig hut. Very open concept. Gorgeous view of the ocean from your hole. And it has some cushion on here, which could be pretty comfortable. You definitely need a lot of blankets and a warm sleeping bag because it's it's open. It has a roof, so you're not gonna get rained on at least, but it would be pretty cold. It's like sleeping under the stars without the stars. <laughs> it's cool. I would not want to stay there though. Unless it's like super warm and in the summer. Wait, in the summer it's still cold here too. Maybe May or October would be okay. What is that? Oh, it's the restroom. Here, I'm gonna go check it out. So the one by our hotel, or our yurt is really cool, the restroom. So I'm gonna go check out this one. There's only two restrooms pretty much on the whole site. And so you have to go and walk to them. Okay. Bathroom. Huh, 
I think the only shower is right by our yurt. But the restroom does have a really nice view. So here's another view of the organic garden, uh, which I was talking about earlier that they take a lot of the supplies to uh, bring to the restaurant to cook for the lunchtime and evening time. It's a little tiny hot tub. They have a pool and a hot tub. It's small, but we are gonna go and try to enjoy it. We're gonna go see if it's warm first before we decide to do that. So this is the lobby where you pick up your keys. It also has a nice sitting area with a fire and a little breakfast bar. You also check in for lunch and dinner at this location. So they have a little gift shop here too. So you can buy a sweatshirt, flip-flops and socks and little snacks and wines, which is cool. Because they have wine glasses and a wine opener and stuff at your actual like hotel. Or your, your, your. How do you say it? Your? Yurt. Yurt. They actually have stuff at your yurt. 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 So they have about, I don't know, what would you say, like 20 different bottles of wine you could choose from. You could buy at the gift shop. You could buy them till 9.30. The cheapest one we found was $36. Of course, that's what we went with because we're cheap. It's the cab. Apparently, it's supposed to be good. And then the most expensive, I think it was like $90, which we're going to avoid. But yeah. And now we're going to go get in the hot tub. So stay tuned. I'm about to take my pants off. Just ignore him. And it's super warm in here now. The heater actually works really well. Surprisingly, we had to turn the heat down. So I think we're gonna be very comfortable here. The pool and hot tub have a really nice view of the ocean and we had a gorgeous sunset while we soaked in the hot tub. So we just got up in the morning. They had a little breakfast spread. We ate overlooking the ocean and it was pretty nice. Staying in a yurt was awesome. It was a really cool experience. I definitely recommend it. We're now leaving Tree Bones Resort and we're heading to Point Lobo State Natural Reserve. Please subscribe below to follow our next adventure. And if you enjoyed the video, please press the like button.